Hey guys, it's Andrew, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be checking out Nmix and their music videos Sonyar, Breaker, and Dash. I was originally going to make two separate videos for these, but then I ended up changing my mind because I had some other videos I wanted to film, so I ended up moving my reaction on Dash forward within this video as well. So, um, we're gonna be getting, you're gonna be getting two reactions in one today uh, for for my video, so which is rare because I don't really do that, but I am doing it for a few comebacks um, for a few groups within the next couple weeks. So, but today we're gonna be checking out both, and um, I really don't know. I've heard really good things about both songs, so I'm kind of excited to be honest. So we're just gonna have to see, I guess. So we're gonna be checking out Sonyar Breaker first. And then afterwards, we're gonna be checking out Dash. So I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, this is third. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. So I think this was a pre release. guys that was my reaction to Sonyar breaker I don't know why it in parentheses it's breaker because I swear I did not see that anywhere in the song but anyways that was very interesting it like it, like it kind of had like a like a Latin sound kind of in the chorus especially it was just so interesting I will say video wise I don't, it, like, it, it's probably because it's a pre-release, so it's like, you know, they're not gonna put that much into the pre-release compared to the actual title track, but 
Um, I do think that the video was a little bit... Like, like, I don't, like, really, why are they, why were they in, like, a white room the entire time when it came to, like, them dancing for the most part? Until the end, they did have some different stuff. But, like, mm, video-wise, it was, like, it was, like, okay. I feel like for most, like, compared to other Edmix uh, music videos, it, I've seen, like, obviously, like, there's been better ones. But then again, this is a pre-release, so I'm not gonna get, like, too, um been over shape about that but song wise I think it was very interesting um I'm not gonna lie I feel like with this song I kind of would have expected this to be the title track compared to Dash but we still need to check out Dash so we're gonna check it out now so yeah <laughs> three two one Dash I wanna dash I wanna oh, run it dash I wanna dash I wanna run it dash I wanna dash I wanna run it dash you can't feel that Hey, okay, the chest pop, alright. Watching both Sonya and Dash, it makes sense now. Everything makes sense. Ooh, look at how the letters are all going. That's cool. Sorry, I just find, I just find little stuff I got like cool. Okay. Sorry if you hear background noise. I don't know what that is. Okay, well you guys, that was my reaction to Edmix's comeback. Everything was so interesting. <laughs> I, I, I do like both songs. Obviously, I, I do think that I like Dash a lot more than Sonyar, but I still think that both are really good songs. And obviously they did a really good job with like, you know, picking a pre-release and, you know, title track. Not gonna lie though, I feel like Sonyar could be good enough to be a title track. Just like, I don't know. 
Even though I do like Dash a lot more, I still can like, I could have seen like title track potential for that song as well. So, I don't know. But I mean, I think they promoted it as well. So if they did promote both songs, then hey, I ain't got nothing to complain about. But overall though, it was very, it's, I, I've noticed one thing with JYP groups especially, I feel like a lot of their music videos are getting, um, very much performance slash choreography dance, like, based, um, and what I mean by that is, like, I feel like they focus a lot of the, on the choreo and the performance aspect of it compared to, like, you know, doing what, like, most people would call, like, beauty shots or, like, scenes of, like, their story in the music video. Um, like I noticed that like in Stray Kids and their last uh, comeback and um, I was watching some of Ipsy's pre-releases um, like Mr. Vampire and Born to Be and like I feel like they're focusing a lot on like the performance aspect of it and um, it's just like it's just it, like there's nothing wrong with it it's just like an interesting thing to see how like in one company you're kind of noticing a pattern in all the different groups so but it's very interesting though but anyways i just got up a side like a side like rant right there but um anyways guys that's all i have for you guys for today i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment share and subscribe if you haven't already follow my social media links in the description below and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye guys